Hey everyone, my name is Riley and today we're going to flip through another one of my custom bullet journals. So for those of you who don't know, I sell custom journals over on Etsy. So all of my customers gets to choose the different layouts and the different doodles that they want. And then I put it together for them. So if that sounds interesting to you, or if you're interested in like buying journal pages that you can print out or journal pages that you can use digitally on a tablet or a computer or something, all of those kinds of things can be found in my Etsy shop, which I will link in the description. So today's journal is a 12 month full doodle journal with lots of muted colors. That's what the customer asked for and that happens to be what I love to do in my own journal as well. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this flip through. Do let me know down in the comments which of these themes is your favorite. And if you do enjoy this kind of content, I would love to have you join me here by hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified of all my new videos full of bullet journal inspiration. All right, so here's the journal that we're flipping through today. This is one of the Artist Loft journals, and I have to say this is one of my favorite colors. It's one of the like sort of sandy colored ones with a faux leather cover. Um, but anyways, I always love these journals, as you guys probably know, and I get them all from Michaels in case you're interested in checking them out for yourself. So I started off with a simple 2022 cover page that's kind of like my own 2021 part two. So I'm going to link that video above um, from when I set up the journal that I'm using now for like July to December of 2021. This is sort of a similar theme to what I did. So she's got a title page and then a future log and all the markers and the pen here is from Rytech over on Instagram. Then she's got a bookshelf and she specifically wanted to be able to fit at least 60 books for the year. And then finally, there's just a big open memories page. So this is where she's gonna paste in pictures, write down funny quotes, just little events that happen throughout the year. Oh, and then I forgot, she also has a year in pixels. So again, I've done this quite a few times now where there's just a spot for every single day of the year over here, and then a key beside. So it's kind of like a massive mood tracker so you can see um, you know, how you were feeling or how you were doing every day of the year. So those are her yearly spreads. Then I get into January. So January here, honestly, one of my favorites in this journal. It's quite a bit like my own um, November plan with me, which I will link above. Um, but yeah, my November plan with me, I did like leaves in this similar style with like the stacked calligraphy and kind of a border around it. But for this one, I just did little space doodles. So there's some gold stars and then some purple and green planets. So every month has a little monthly title page like this, and then there's a spot for a monthly cleaning tracker. So she wanted four different sections. There's a weekly section, and here I've got um, however many weeks are in the month so that she can write down a task, for example, do the laundry, and then she can check off which weeks of the month she does it. Same with bi-weekly, and then monthly, and other. Then on the next page, there's a big monthly calendar with a little section for notes. And then we get into the weekly spreads and she let me choose all the different layouts for the weeks. So they're gonna look a bit different. And then she requested a little section to write what she's reading that week, what she's grateful for, and then some reminders for the week. And since this is a full doodle journal, you'll be seeing the little doodles on every weekly page. So for February, I did this really minimal looking light bulb theme. So I used some craft paper that I got from an Amazon parcel, some washi tape from the washi tape shop, and just drew these little light bulbs. They are such a quick and easy doodle if you like this kind of theme. So then I did a different weekly layout here where the days of the week are kind of in the center here. And then we've got gratitude, what I'm reading, and then reminders. Then is March and she mentioned just a few things that she likes, not necessarily that she wanted me to use as themes, but that she likes. And one of those was technology. So I decided to do this little like iPhone sort of theme. And then it just says, hello March. And she's got again, her cleaning tracker, her monthly calendar, and then a different weekly layout where we've got the days of the week over here. And then all those same sections. Thank you. 
Next is April. So another thing she mentioned that she liked was like pen and paper or pencil and paper doodles. So I did that here. We've got a pencil, some paper with some cloud doodles on it, and then just kind of some abstract shapes all around it. Then is May and I shared this one on my Instagram story and it turns out lots of you guys liked this. So it's just this little wiener dog. This doodle was so, so easy. Some paw prints and then I have him like on a leash and kind of someone's arm um, sticking out and holding onto the leash because again, she mentioned that she liked dogs. So I had to include a little theme like this. Then is June. So for June, I used some of these new stickers that I got and these are so cute and fun. It's this big set of like Van Gogh paintings as like washi type stickers. So I stuck a few little Van Gogh paintings up here, drew in a potted plant and then also used a tiny bit of washi tape from the washi tape shop. And these stickers, I should say, they're from Journal Say, and I am gonna have a link to Journal Say along with a discount down in the description. So now we're back to the first weekly layout, the one that I used for January. So the days of the week have these nice long boxes, and then we've got reminders, reading, and gratitude. Then is July and I did a little like collage-ish theme for July. So I've got a cool sticker here. There's like a little picnic scene. I don't know how well you can see it on the video, but it has a little picnic over here. Then I've got some washi tape shop washi. And then these stickers, these are so cool. Okay, I'm gonna find them on my desk. Sorry, I should have had them like sitting out. Here we go. So the washi tape shop sent me this awesome washi roll and it came in a pack of six. So there's other washi rolls as well, but it's a roll of stickers. I am absolutely in love. So all of these are little stickers. You can just easily peel them off and use them in the journal. So there's this like dessert one, there's a cat one, there's one with rainbows and butterflies and flowers. Um, so all kinds of little stickers and I'm gonna link this down in the description. I do have a great discount at the washi tape shop. So do check that out if that sounds interesting to you because I use those little dessert stickers like all over this month. I'm pretty sure every weekly page has at least one or two of them. Then is August, so she also said that she likes the ocean and palm trees, so I did just a little doodle here and I put it in like a daydream bubble because like dreaming of going on a tropical vacation. But anyways, I really, I love how these little palm trees look, they're just so tiny and cute. Then is September, so I did this globe theme, which I've done plenty of times before. And here I did use some washi tape as a header, which whenever I do this, when I write on it, which I usually use my Tombow Fudonosuke markers to do this, but when I write on it, it always looks like it's kind of like, you know, beading, like the marker is almost separating. But if you just let it sit for a second, it will stay and it won't smudge and it works just fine. So that's one of the ways that I like to use washi tape these days. Then is October. So another thing that she mentioned she likes is skincare products. So I've got a little like vanity set up here. So I use my metallic gold marker for a mirror and then there's just like random little products all around. I really like these weeklies with the gold going across and then just a little doodle up at the top. Mm -hmm. 
Then we've got November, and this is a theme that I've done quite a few times before. It's a really simple little bookshelf, and I decided to include a mini calendar underneath. This is some more of my washi tape from the washi tape shop. And then finally, December. So she also mentioned that she likes sort of foresty stuff. So this was just supposed to be kind of a forest doodle page. So there's some pine branches, little bees, and then some acorns as well. And this washi tape here at the bottom and over here, these are the like holiday set of washi tape from the washi tape shop which these are so cute. I'm gonna be using these for all my Christmas gifts and cards this year. And that brings us to the end of her journal. Thank you all so much for joining me for another flip through. I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.